In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a many-to-many -many relationship in Microsoft Access 2010. I'm going to start with uh, this database, which has already been designed, that has a <coughs> customer's table already and an order's table, and they're already joined in a primary key and foreign key relationship between customer ID and both tables. But we want to add a products table over here, and then a junction table called order products, or you could call it order detail if you wanted, that allows you to match up orders with products so that you can tell and retrieve which products were on which orders and, and if you have an order which products were actually on it. The relationship between products and orders is a many-to-many -many relationship and that's what we're going to model here. So to complete this many-to-many -many relationship I'm going to place on this side of my screen, first I have to do is create a couple new tables and I'm going to go into um, table, I can go table design here, and go straight to a, a design and I'm going to go uh, product ID and that data type is going to be an auto number and I'm going to have product description and that is going to be a text value because it's just the name of the product <coughs> and that's all. <coughs> just for simplicity purposes we'll just have that in the product table and we'll shut this down do you want to save the changes to table one? Yes, I do. And I want to call this the products table. Oh, okay, and I forgot to um, define the primary key of product ID, so it's going to ask me to do that. And I said yes, so it created it. See, here we have the products table. Let's go back into design view, and you can see that it created a product ID primary key. If I wanted to, I could have just clicked on this and clicked on the primary key button and that would have created the product ID primary key as well. Okay, so I'm going to shut that down because that's ready to go and I'm going to go to right click and then we're in the relationships window now. I'm going into like database go into relationship tools right here in this view. Right click and click on show table. I'm going to add the products table to it and see we have it here. I'm going to move it over next thing we need is a junction table that will allow us to resolve this many-to-many -many relationship between orders and products into two one-to-many relationships so to do that I need to go into create and I'm gonna go into um, this this time let's just create a table like this and I'm gonna right click on it and go to design view I'm gonna call this order products which is really the order detail or the line items on a particular order. Now, in this case, it gives me an auto number field for free here. But this is a junction table. Junction tables do not have order auto number primary keys. So I want to take that off so that it's not an auto number. Instead, I want to put order ID right here, and I want to make this just a number type. Because this table, order products, will get its primary key of order ID and product ID, which is a concatenated key. It will get those keys from the orders table and the products table respectively that already have numbers for those keys auto numbered. So in this order products table, I have to make this a number, not an auto number. I'm also going to put product ID in here, and I'm also going to make that a number column. And then in here, I'm going to also have another column called quantity, the amount that I sold of a particular product on that particular order. Now, to create the primary key in this junction table, I have to do a composite key or a concatenated key, which means two IDs together. So when I click on order ID, I then hold down the shift button, and that's what I'm doing right now with my left finger. You can't see it, but I'm holding down the shift button on my keyboard. And then I click on product ID as well. That joins them together. I can let go of the shift key and then I click on primary key. And there you go. Now we have the concatenated key of order ID and product ID in the order products table. I'm going to save this table now. Do I want to save these changes? Yes, I do. Okay, now that we have um, that order products table created, I'm going to right click in the relationships window. I'm going to show table. And I'm going to click on order products and add that to the table as well. See how it showed up? Okay, the last thing I have to do is I have to join the orders and products table to the order products junction table. So to do that I pick up order ID and I drag it on top of order ID in the order products table and click enforce referential integrity 
that just makes sure that I can't delete any orders in the orders table if there is a junction table pointing to that particular order. So I click on create. I'm going to have to do the same thing again with the product ID. I pick that up and I put it on top of product ID. Click on enforce referential integrity and then click on create. And now I have the orders table and the products table joined in a many-to-many -many relationship through this junction table, which has a concatenated key made up of number fields that point to the auto number fields of the primary keys of the tables to which it's trying to join. And that's how you do a many-to-many -many relationship in Microsoft Access 2010.